Allah Akbar is promising a great reward for the person who lays da- who lays down his life fighting in the cause of Allah. Here in this verse, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is encouraging the believers to fight in the cause of Allah to make jihad because this is how the Muslims will be able to protect and guard their state against the enemies or the enemies of Islam. So that is why Allah has promised the person who lays down his life in the cause of Allah as Ajran Azima. This Ajran Azima has been promised to the martyrs of Islam. What is the great reward for martyrdom? Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah verse 1 54 and Surah Al Imran. Surah Al Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in verse number 169, Allah says, And say not to those who are slain in the cause of Allah as dead, they are alive but you perceive not. So this is exactly what Allah is saying that a person who is martyred in the way of Allah, in the path of Islam is not death, is not dead. He is alive. And how is he alive? Hazrat Masrook radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Muslim that Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, when Prophet Sallallahu was asked the meaning of these two verses, the verse 154 of Surah Al-Baqarah and the verse 169 of Surah Al-Imran, then Prophet Sallallahu was asked, what is the meaning of these two verses? Then he said that the souls of the martyrs are living. The souls of the martyrs are living in the form of green birds in the paradise. And these green birds they go about flying around in the gardens of paradise and when and when the night sets they come and they take rest in the beautiful shining chandeliers or lamps which are hanging with the throne of Allah Azza wa Jal. And then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said that then Allah attends to them and asks them have you any wish and they say we can walk and we can fly in the paradise. Whatever we wish, what else should we desire? And then Allah asks the same question thrice. And then the souls of these martyrs, they will say, Oh Allah, we wish, we wish that we, we be put in our bodies again to be martyred again in your way. So this is that a martyr does not die he lives and what will be the person who who lays down the life in the path of Allah during jihad Hazrat Migdan Hazrat Migdan radiallahu ta'ala explains he narrates in Ibn Majah that Prophet sallallahu said to Allah there are six excellences of a martyr the first is the moment the blood flows from his body Allah pardons all his sins Exemption from all the sins, the first drop of blood. The first drop of blood of the martyr causes all his sins to be forgiven. What else can we want? What else can you and me be desirous of? The second thing, he witnesses his place in the paradise. So at the time of his being martyred, he is shown, he is shown his palaces in the paradise. The third is, he is secured from the torments of the grave. The fourth is he remains safe. He is secured from the torments and the horrors of the day of resurrection. And the fifth is that he will be clad with the garments of Iman and he will be wedded with the virgins of paradise. And the sixth is that he will be authorized to intercede for 70 of his relationships of kin on the day of judgment. 
Oh Allah, make us all, make us all believe, make us all be desirous of these rewards. And then in another words, Hazrat Miqdam radiallahu ta'ala anhu narrates in Tirmizi, the Prophet sallallahu said, to Allah, the martyr has six excellences. The moment he is martyred, his abode in the paradise is shown to him. All his sins are pardoned. Second, he is kept safe from the torments of the grave. He is kept safe from the torments of the day of the judgment. And he will be given a crown. He will be given a crown to wear. This will be studded with pearls. And the pearls will be more precious than all the worldly wealth and all the worldly riches. And then he will be allowed to intercede for 70 of his near and dear kids. Allahumma ja'alna minhum. Hazrat Abu Hurairah ta'ala and who reports in Bukhari that Prophet said by Allah Prophet swears by Allah in whose control is my soul one who got injured in the way of Allah the person who got injured in the way of Allah will come in the day of judgment in such a condition that blood will be oozing from the wound. That blood will be oozing from the wound and the blood will have the same color of the blood here in the world, but it will be giving out the scent of musk. And then Hazrat Mughaira radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Bukhari that Prophet sallallahu has promised that whoever of us is killed in the way of Allah will go to paradise. Will go to paradise. And in paradise, the palaces, Prophet sallallahu has witnessed. He saw with his real eyes and the trustful and the truthful. Prophet sallallahu has reported has a Sumra bin Jundab Raziallahu ta'ala who reports in Bukhari that Prophet said, Today I saw a dream and the two men came and mounted me on a tree and took me to a very beautiful, huge, glamorous and splendid palace. I had never seen such a beautiful palace before and they told me that this was the house of a martyr. How difficult it is going to be how painful it is going to be. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and who said, he reposed in Nisai, the Prophet sallallahu said that at the time of martyrdom, a martyr feels the pain just as if feels the pain of a pricking of an ant. So this is where you are. And then how dear the drop of blood is to Allah and what will be the merits? How Jannah is testified? Hasat Hansa bin Tima'aviyah radiallahu ta'ala and who reports in Abu Dawud, the Prophet sallallahu said, he was asked, who amongst will definitely enter into the paradise? And Prophet sallallahu said, the prophets are sure to enter the paradise. The martyrs are sure to enter the paradise. The newborn will surely be entering the paradise and the girl who was buried alive will also sure to enter into the paradise. And then in Muslim Hazrat Abdullah bin Amr ibn Ulas reports, the Prophet sallallahu said, Allah will pardon all the sins of martyr except death. And what will be the wish of the martyr in the paradise? Hazrat Anas bin Malik radiallahu ta'ala who reports in Bukhari that Prophet sallallahu said, one, one who once will enter the Jannah will never wish to come back to the world even he, if he should be given all the wealth of the world. But a martyr would wish to come back in the world and be martyred ten times for the honor which he was blessed because of his martyrdom. And that is why, that is why Prophet Sallallahu and the companions used to ask for being martyred in the path of Allah. What, what excellence would be that the martyrs will be even be more excellent than the angels of the heaven? <coughs> Hazrat Abdullah bin Amr ibn Ulas reports that Prophet Sallallahu said, that when Allah will summon the paradise on the day of judgment, it will appear, it will appear 
in the most beautiful form decorated from in front of Allah and then Allah will address the paradise and Allah will say where are my slaves where are my slaves who fought in my path and they were killed who bore the troubles and miseries and performed jihad in my way they will be presented in Allah's court and Allah will ask them to enter paradise Allah himself will ask the martyrs to enter the paradise Allahumma ja'alna minhum so they will enter the jannah without any account and the angels will say oh Allah we praised you and we glorified you day and night who are these people whom you have preferred to us Allah will say these are the people who fought these are the people who fought in my way endured the troubles and these are the people who laid their lives in my path for jihad and then the angels will say salamun alaykum bima sabartum fa ni'ma uqbat dar this is why knowing all this prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say as at the buhurairah radiyallahu ta'ala who reports in bukhari that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to say if i could do so i would never remain behind any military expedition by allah in whose control is my soul i wish to be killed in the way of allah and then put to life and then killed in the way of allah and then put to life and then killed in the way of allah this was the desire of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam knowing the merits and knowing the excellence of a martyr remember and pray to allah these words allahumma arzuqna shahadatan fi sabilik allahumma arzuqna shahadatan fi sabilik allahumma arzuqna shahadatan fi sabilik and do so with all the sincerity with all the true feelings from the core of the heart make this prayer because you know as a sahal bin saad radiyallahu ta'ala and who reports in the side that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has promised that if a man wished the death of martyrdom from the very core of his heart allah should grant him the ranks of a martyr even if he dies on bed now let's say that again now let's recite that again allahumma arzuqna shahadatan fi sabilik اللهم ارزقنا شهاده في سبيلك